fiery horse to the speed of light, a cloud of dust to the hearty Hayo Silver, the Lone Ranger. <laughs> In the early days of the western United States, many outlaws defied the local sheriffs. But the Lone Ranger was more than a match for them. He found their hideouts, brought them to justice, and made everyone realize that open defiance of the law would not be tolerated. Then came a new breed of criminals, men who used brains instead of force. But once again, the masked rider was equal to the emergency. Return with us now those thrilling days when the West was young. An adventure lay at the end of every trail. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! We're heading for the range country! Someone's waiting on the trail ahead! I am Silver! Hawaii! <laughs> One day, when Sheriff Dan Lansing walked into his office, he found Red Whipple, the newest of his deputies, waiting for him. The younger man was smiling and... Everything go along all right while I was out, Red? I... Hey, what in blazes are you grinning about? <laughs> you was looking all over the county for the fellow that robbed Lem Stone. Eh, he was a slickin'. Never left no trace at all. No? <laughs> well, right this here second, he's sitting behind bars. What's that? That's so. Well, I'll... <laughs> who is he? How'd you get him? Got him back here? I'd like to have a look at the varmint. He's in the second cell there. I don't know how you done it, Red, but it was a good piece of work. I... Why, this year's fish I foster. But, Sheriff... Sure, you but... blasted, idiot. If you wasn't new in this town, I'd take your badge away. Give me your keys. Gosh, Dan, what'd I do wrong? Ah... Uh... Fishy, I'm just about plumb out of patience with you. Oh, Come out of there. Don't go, Sheriff. You're the most suspicious and mistrusting fellow I ever seen. Can't you leave me alone? Or... You're getting. Now let go of my arm. I'll teach you. Hey, Dan, he, he said he robbed Lim Store. Wait, hold on. He confessed to it. Just like he's confessed to every other crime around these parts. Said he wrestled Bogan's cows. Said he held up the stage. Said he was the one that shot the Witter Stevens' goats. You don't kick me. I'll heist the seat of your britches up to your shoulder. No. If you ever pull another stunt like this, I'll... I'll put me in jail, huh? Beat it. Ain't you making a mistake, Dan? He, he said he robbed... Sure, ro he said he robbed Lamb. That's all that could have does is try to get in jail. He won't work and he's too blame lazy to beg. So he lets the county feed him. Oh. It's maddening. Anybody else do anything wrong, you can threaten to throw him in jail. But fish eye, there ain't a blasted thing you can do to him. Jail is what he wants. Well, I'll bet everybody in town will laugh at me for this. Well, let them laugh. You ain't bad off. First year I was sheriff, I jailed that pesky critter 20 times before I found out he wasn't a natural-born lawbreaker, but just a natural loafer. Well, here comes Bud. Yeah, send him over three forks way looking for that robber. Didn't catch him, though, from the looks of it. 
course. Didn't find nothing, huh? I found a plenty. Don't tell me you was took in by fish eye, too. I ain't talking about the robbery. Huh? Jake Rabe, he's been killed. No. Who's he? Just about one of the biggest ranchers in this county. Who done it? Couldn't get no clue to the fella at all. Wasn't a gunfight then, huh? Nope. Fact is, I reckon I'm still the only fella to know about it. I stopped in his place, and there he was, laying on the floor with a gun beside him. Maybe he shot himself. No, I don't figure it that way. The only shooting iron I ever seen Jake using was that fancy one he got from that dude Pilgrim come through here a couple of years back. And that was in Jake's holster. Hadn't even been drawn. I heard what you said, bud. And you got it figured right. Jake didn't kill himself. Blast you, fish eyes. Stay away from here. What do you know about the killing? Everything. What? what? I done it. You, you, fish eye, you try getting jailed just once more and... and... And I'll jail you for trying. Jog on, will you, Sheriff? Yippee! Don't you forget now, that's a promise. The Sheriff, accompanied by Red and Bud, rode to Jake's ranch to investigate the killing. In a hollow not far from the ranch, the Lone Ranger and Tonto were seated near a small campfire. Dusk gave way to night, and Tonto was cooking the evening meal when he said, We eat heap soon now. Good. We've had a long ride today. Ah. We might as well stay here for the night and push on early in the morning. That's right. And then, what's that? Feller come this way. Let the bacon go. Ah. Stand ready. Who's there? Uh, don't shoot, Jeff. It's, it's just me. Just fish eye foster. Get here in the light. Keep your hands from your holster. I ain't up to nothing. And just come to warn you, Zola. No shoot. Over here. Gosh, I... It's doggone winded. I... I can't hardly get my breath. What are you doing here? Now, just a second. I'm... I'll be able to talk in a second. You say your name's Fish Eye Foster? Yeah. You look as though you've had a hard run. Uh, all the way from Jake Rabe's place by Ginger. Got your breath back? I'm all right now, I reckon. Now, what's this about a warning? What's the trouble? The law knows you're here. Yes? Sheriff Lansing and his two deputies. They'll be coming this way pretty quick. That's why I run for it, so as I could get here first. Tonto, uh -huh. get ready to leave. We may have to pull out in a hurry. Tonto, do that. How did you know where to find our camp? Yeah, you're down on the hollow here. Jake's place is up above on the hill. You can see the glow from there. And why should the law bother Tonto and me? Does the sheriff question every stranger that enters his county? I, you don't have to pretend with me, stranger. Pretend? Shucks, I know it was you that killed Jake. Eastways, I suppose it was you. So that's it. I'm suspected of a killing, huh? Gosh, didn't you kill him? I didn't. Tonto and I... Wait, haven't I seen you before? I don't know, have you? Been through this section before? I don't mean here. I mean in another district. I ain't been here but a couple of years. I I used to live over... In... Well, that's something I don't talk about much. Just let it go. Why should the law think I killed this fellow? Well, you're masked and... One of Jake's men told the sheriff he seen a mask on me and a redskin near Jake's place this afternoon riding his way. So putting two and two together... It Rather is... thin evidence. Come to think of it, I reckon it ain't none too good. Why did you trouble to warn us? Because I don't want no suspects button in. No? I've confessed to that killing and I'll be blasted if I let anybody else be jailed for it. Did you kill him? Well, I... Uh... Oh, what's that got to do with it? I'm trying to understand why you would confess to a murder you didn't commit. Shucks, I don't hanker to work for a living. It'd suit me just fine if the county had feed me for a spell. And you think if you confess, the county will support you, huh? Well, the sheriff's got to jail somebody. He suspects what I'm up to all right. But in the case of murder, it'd be better to jail even me than nobody. I'm afraid you're forgetting something. Huh? You'd be more likely to hang than to get a jail sentence. It did you say hang? I did. Oh, gosh, I'm the biggest idiot ever was born. I've been trying so long to get jailed just for anything at all that I clean forgot that killing calls for hanging. But say, stranger, you better clear out. Them fellows will be along almost any time. Ready, Tonto? All ready. Bring the horses. Clearing out, huh? No. Well, you'd better. The law is coming here. I believe I'll circle around and have a look for myself at the place where that fellow was shot. Here, Silver, Tonto, saddle him. Thanks, Kimosabe. Help with you, Fish Eye. We'll take you along. Uh, well, I sure wouldn't want the sheriff to find me here. Yep. Let's go, Tonto. Uh, get him up, Scout. Come on, Silver. Come on. Fish Eye rode with the masked man as far as the ranch, then made his way back to town on foot. 
Later that evening, he was in the cafe, leaning against the bar and... Oh, just one more shot, barkeep. I'll pay you sometime. You can take my word, can't you? Fish eye. Don't look at me so hard. I'll do more than look at you. If you don't quit pestering me, you ain't catching no more drinks from me. And if I hear you even ask for another, I'll ambate you good. Gosh, ain't I a good customer? Ain't I in here most every day? Sure. Well, then what's the matter with you? You ain't never spent a nickel in here. If it wasn't that sometimes you bring me cash because there's idiots fool enough to buy you liquor, I'd have thrown you out long ago. You're getting as hard-hearted as a sheriff. What's that about me, Fish Eyes? Howdy, Sheriff. I was just saying the bar keeps getting as bad as you. He won't give me no liquor, and you won't let me stay in your jail. A fine way to treat a fellow like me that ain't never done no harm to nobody. <laughs> Fish Eye, you're the limit. Oh, ain't so bad. That reminds me, out to Jake's place. Where'd you disappear to in such a hurry? I left for town. That's funny. Somebody said they seen you heading in the direction of the holler. Well, I didn't. And when I got there with my deputies, that mask hombre and the engine I heard about was gone. You don't say. You wouldn't give them warning, would you? What for? I don't know. Didn't occur to me that anybody as loco as you would be needing a sensible reason. Seems to me you're the fellow ain't acting sensible, Sheriff. When I confess to something, you won't believe me. When I claim I didn't do something, then you get as downright suspicious as a hound dog scenting game. <laughs> well, with you, I never know. Well, Hopkins, by all that's holy. What in blazes are you doing in this country? Uh, well, goodbye, Sheriff. I, I gotta go down. Kel, and... what's ailing you? Don't you recognize me? I'm Luke Mullen. Yeah, I've never seen you before. I got... Fish eye! Uh, what, Sheriff? Come back here! But, Sheriff, I, I got business to tend to. And that I... same is right here. Mister, you know Fish Eye? I know Cal Hopkins. Uh huh. And you called Fish Eye by that handle. Now, what's this all about? Uh, just, just let me go, Sheriff. I you wanna... stay here. Now, stranger, is this feller Cal Hopkins or is he Fish Eye Foster like he's been telling us? I'm doggone sorry, Cal, if I got you into any trouble. I never You've meant. You've done it, Luke. It ain't no use crying about what can't be helped. Where do you know Fish Eye? <laughs> Why, we was friends over to Placer City up Montana way. Shucks, I've known Cal ever since him and Jake Rabe was partners in that gold miner there. Oh. What was that you said? Huh? What was that about him and Jake being partners? Uh, well, I didn't mean to say they were still partners, Sheriff. Reckon they busted up when Jake tricked Cal out of his share. Luke, now you're done it for sure. Done what? Jake Rabe was just killed. Golly, I didn't know Cal. Never even knew Jake came to this part of the country when he sold the mine. He come here and went to ranching. Fish eye? Yeah. Is it a fact your real handles, Cal Hopkins? Ain't no use denying it now, I reckon. It wouldn't take you long to find out the truth. And you and Jake was once partners in a gold mine? Yeah. And Jake was supposed to have cheated now, you? Oh, now look, Shut up. I... Just why did you come here and give folks a different name to call you by? Well, I and was... just why wasn't it ever known that you and Jake was acquainted afore? I never knew he was here when I first hit town, Sheriff. Honest to never. No? Well, there's some things beginning to clear up now. I never did figure a feller could be as loco as you made out. Oh, Sheriff, now... You was mad at Jake. You followed him here. Can't so. Keep still. By thunder, the more I think about it, the more I'm beginning to savvy just how slick you was. Sheriff, you're getting things all wrong. You kept confessing to everything crooked that happened around here. Got to be a standing joke. Got so finely you could own up to anything at all and you wouldn't be believed. Listen now... Get it all planned out. You waited your time. Then you killed Jake to get even. Rushed to my office to confess. And no blame well I'd throw you out, figuring it was just another dodge of yours to get free lodging. Things look bad, Sheriff, but you just don't savvy us all. Well, now. you've been begging me to jail you. Yeah? I've changed my mind. You're too late. This time I'm jailing you whether you like it or not. And on a charge of murder. No, Sheriff. Honest now, I don't want to go to jail. Just let me stay loose, that's all. I'll be content. I won't pester you to jail me no more. You were slick, fish eye. It ain't fair. But this fella showing up queered your game. Now turn yourself around and march. You're under arrest. <laughs> the curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger drama. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
to continue our story. When the sheriff learned that Fisheye was really Cal Hopkins from Montana with a long-standing grudge against the murdered rancher, he was taken to jail and locked up. Ah, never figured to see the day that I'd be willing to deal you, Fisheye. But there you are, and there you stay. Now look here, Sheriff. Well? You want to know the honest guy's truth about things? Ready to make a confession, is that it? Now you listen to me. You got to. Go ahead, talk. You don't savvy. Sure, Jake swindled me. I couldn't ever prove it, but it's so. And when he got through, I didn't have a cent left to my name. So you swore to get him? Maybe I would have done it at first, Sheriff. But later on, it just didn't seem worthwhile. Then I begin wandering around the country trying to make a living here and there, and all the time luck going worse again me. So finally, I just made up my mind I wasn't going to even try to pay my own way no more. <laughs> I didn't know Jake was in this district when I come here, and he never did find out I was here. I used a different name and always kept out of his way. Except once. Huh? Once? The time you shot him. Ain't it no use at all trying to make you see the straight facts, Sheriff? I see him all right. Who you got there, Sheriff? Well, I'll be. <laughs> Dan, you was calling me every kind of name because I was fool enough to jail Fisheye. And here you've done just what you told me not to. I got my reason. Yeah? What's he done, boss? He's been using a name don't belong to him. He once was Jake Rabe's partner, and Jake was known to cheat him. No. Is them the facts? Found him out when a pilgrim by the name of Luke Mullins from Fisheye's hometown spilled the works. Well, then then you must be arresting him for Jake's killing. Ain't that what I've been saying, Red? Well, I never done it, fellas. Honest enough. Ah, you... But, Sheriff, he's right. He didn't. I don't care how good a case you think you got again him. He just couldn't have done the shooting. I'd like to know why not. Bud, you found Jake, didn't you? Sure did, Red. How long had he been dead when you run across him? About more than an hour. And you came right here and reported? Of course. There. You see, Dan? No, by ginger, I don't see. But I jailed Fisheye for robbing Lev's store when he fooled me with that fake confession of his. At the time Jake was killed, Fisheye was sitting here behind bars with me a-watching him. There. Con, son, and dog blaster. Well, it's so. And I thought I had Jake's killing all cleaned up. Well, Fisheye, looks like you get out all right. Oh, that's just fine. But, Sheriff, if you could just see your way clear to get me jail for the robin of Lem star, then... You uh... ordinary long-eared maverick. Bud, unlock that cell and kick that fellow out of here. Right. And if he ever... Leave that cell locked. What's the matter? The mask uh, fellow I was looking for, mister. You'll I... do as I tell you. Careful, men. Don't slap leather. You... I warned you. Leap on cat. I had them guns out of four, but even dropped his hand to his host. Stranger, you can't. Come on. We're but taking can... a trip. Just who do you think you are to give orders to the law? We'll discuss that later. Right now, you and I are riding, Sheriff. You men. Well? Don't let Fish Eye out. You and Bud keep an eye on him, Red, until the Sheriff gets back. What's your game? Sheriff, I'm going to show you how a man could be miles away when his victim was killed and still be a murderer. Now, come along. Forcing the sheriff to accompany him, the Lone Ranger headed for Jake's ranch house. On the way, the sheriff learned several things that convinced him he had misjudged his man. And when they arrived at the ranch... Oh, Silver! Oh, boy! Oh, boy! Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I, I never took you to be the Lone Ranger. You're convinced that I am? The sight of that horse would be enough. Good. Then perhaps you'll believe the things I have to show you. Come. Where's your pard? He's here on the porch. In the shadows. Tonto! Uh? Where are the cow hands? Them in bunkhouse. Them not come here. Then we won't be disturbed. Inside, Sheriff. Uh-huh. What's up? There are several things I want to show you. Jake was found dead in this room. Yeah, he was laying right over there. Miss the place here? That's right. Notice where he was found. Right in front of this cupboard against the wall. Yeah. Now then, when you were here before, did you notice a short length of cord on the floor just beneath the cupboard? I can't say that I... Yeah, come to think of it, I do. It was a piece of twine. Now look inside this cupboard. Oh, what about it? See these nails? Uh, yeah... There's three of them. One driven into the inside of the door itself. Another at the rear of the cupboard. And a third at the side of the cupboard. Doggone if I can savvy what you're driving at. This nail in the door still has a ragged piece of twine sticking to it. Uh-huh. Here, I'll take one of my guns and show you something. I'll put it on the end of the shelf. So this nail driven into the side is under the barrel. There. Now the barrel is held in position pointing outwards. In other words, pointing directly at anyone opening the cupboard. Uh-huh. You see what was done? A piece of cord was fastened to the nail inside the door, drawn across his second nail at the rear, and from that attached to the hammer of a six-gun. In that position, anyone opening the cupboard door would release the hammer. The cartridge would be exploded. 
With any luck at all, he'd be killed. My golly, stranger, that's so. It wasn't difficult to see what had happened when once you noticed all these things. I missed them entirely. A piece of twine, the nails, the position of the body told the story. Wait. The gun was found on the floor. A forty-five Sheriff has a strong recoil. The recoil tumbled the gun from the shelf to the floor. And a feller could have fixed all this up, cleared out, and been miles away with an alibi when the killing actually happened. Right. Which same means that Fish Eye ain't got no alibi at all. He hasn't. And that's why you told my deputies not to let him out. Stranger, I'm going back to town and tell Fish Eye just how worthless that blamed alibi of his is. You still have no proof. But motive aplenty. Fish Eye was ruined by Jake. It would be better to get clear proof. Sure, but I don't know how it could be done. Release Fish Eye. Tell him you no longer believe him guilty because you have clear proof against another man. Ah, you loco. Do as I say and you'll catch a murderer. But, uh, wait. Wait, I got it. Now I savvy. Yes? Let him go free to give him rope enough to hang himself. Is that it? Do as I've told you and the killer will be caught. Then, mister, he's just as good as caught right now. Sheriff Lansing obeyed the Lone Ranger's orders. It was late at night when he returned from Jake's ranch. But first thing in the morning, Fisheye was released with the assurance that all the evidence pointed to another man. Nothing happened during the day, but that evening, Bud entered the cafe and... Howdy, fellas. Howdy, Jeff. Hi. Oh, there, Matt. Hi, there, Bud. Fisheye. Hi there, Fisheye. Hi, Bud. Howdy, Red. The sheriff sent me after you, fellas. He weren't fooling. He said he wanted you fellas to come down to the house. He said you was to come if I had to drag you personal. I don't know. Maybe I ought to stand on my rights. Figure he'd jail me if I did, bud. <laughs> Most likely he'd just give you the toe of his boot. Come along, Red. Grab a hold of Fish Eye's other arm there if he's got a notion to put up any argument. He'll come. Now let me loose. <laughs> well, then come peaceable. I'm a coming, I'm a coming. Blast it all. I never did see law to compare with such as this town's got. Can't get jailed when you want to. Can't be left alone, neither. It's enough to make a man get plumb disgusted with law and order. The three men, Bud, Red, and Fisheye, made their way to the sheriff's home. As they walked up the steps and crossed the porch, two figures detached themselves from the shadows and... Here we are, fellas. We'll find out... Walk right in. Oh, man. Man. Keep going. Watch them, Tonto. Hunter, do that. Inside. Look here, what's the idea? Come in, boys. Come right in. Put this mask fella here. Someone yeah. just like him and me agreed on. Now just help yourself to chairs, boys, and make yourself to home. But, Cher, what's this for? What do you want us for? Well, fish I, I thought maybe if we got together and talked things over, we can get to the bottom of Jake's killing and find the fellow that done it. I never. Your own deputy gave me an alibi. Uh -huh. I recollect it. Say, hand me my tobacco, will you? It's there in that cupboard, I reckon. Sure. This cupboard here? Uh-huh. No dog on it. Excuse me, fish eye. Must be getting absent-minded. Sit down. Here it is, right here. <laughs> I never did think you had your wits about you, Sheriff. You, uh, ain't got nothing new on the killing, have you, boss? No, but I expect to have soon. Thought you told fish eye you had evidence again the fella killed Jake. Uh, some. I'm just waiting for the rest. Well, what's this mask fella and the redskin got to do with it? You'll learn that soon enough, bud. Sure, don't get restless. Red. Huh? I don't want to trouble fish eye again, but I just noticed this is the pipe I've been smoking all day. Yeah? I got a fresh one in the cupboard there. Get it for me, will you? Feeling sort of lazy myself. Well, I... It's I, just over there. I'll get it, boss. You stay where you are. Red, did you hear what the sheriff said? But, uh... uh the pipe, Red. Why, well, ain't no servant. Shucks, Red, he just asked you because he's tired. Ain't nothing to get offended about. But I'll be glad you to You won't. Red... Get out of that chair. Look here. Or do I have to drag you out? Uh, I'll get up, but I don't see why I should have Now to... walk to that cupboard. Well, I... Walk. Sheriff, this fellow ain't got no right to order me around. Strikes me you're acting mighty touchy, Red. Wouldn't be nothing behind it, would there? Well, I just ain't feeling good, that's all. When you open that cupboard door, you may feel worse. Open it, you say? No. Well, I... Hurry. No, no, you can't make me. I don't have to take no orders from nobody. You'll take I... my orders. Open that door or I draw. Say, there's something mighty queer about this. All right, I'll open it. Duck, fellas! Well, hey, what's the red knew that gun was in you there. You ain't gonna get me. Grab him, stop him. He's heading for the window. Stay where you are. Oh, oh. The next shot will be closer. Why, you... Come here. Keep your hands up. Don't make a false move. Bless you. That'll be enough of that. Bud, put the cuffs on him. Right. There. But I don't savvy. What's we this all about? We gave each one of you an opportunity to open that cupboard door. 
Only Red was unwilling, because he knew a gun was set to fire when the door opened. You all saw him stoop to one side when he turned the handle. He knew what to expect. And that was just the way Jake was killed. Well, I'll be switched. Then Red killed Jake. When you were released, Fisheye, you were told the sheriff had clear evidence against another man. Red didn't know the sheriff really had evidence that would convict him or not. He couldn't take a chance, however. So he rigged up the identical murder trap to catch the sheriff that he'd used successfully on Jake. And I was thinking Red was such a swell fella because he was so willing to give me an alibi. He wasn't thinking of your alibi, Fisheye. When he gave you one, he was also providing one for himself. Well, that's right. I never thought of looking at it from that way. But what did Red have it in for Jake for? Red, you willing to tell? You might as well. If you don't, there's a fellow in town that'll do it for you. Because the dirty snake had me sent to jail on a deal where he was to blame. I told him I'd get even, and I did. Hi, hey, masked man, wait. Tell me again, Sheriff. Was it that masked fella figured this out, or you, Sheriff? <laughs> Wasn't me, Fisheye. If it was, you might have hung. Who's this hombre you said to tell about me? You were sentenced to jail, Red, but broke loose. Followed Jake here where you wasn't known, and I gave you a job because you seemed to be a handy fellow with your shooting irons. But the law was on your trail all the time. The law? The government. A U.S. Marshal showed up in town this afternoon. When he described you, I knowed who it was right away. That Marshal, a stranger here, Sheriff? Uh-huh, why? I gotta see him. Look here, you blasted idiot! Now, don't you go and spoil it for me, Sheriff. Can't get you fellas to jail me no more, but a stranger in town, Sheriff. Shucks, I'll bet I can get him to give me a year in the calaboose at least. The story you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.